one of my favorite hymns. It's titled, Be Still My Soul. It comes from 1750s. A German hymn writer, Katharina von Schlegel. When I read the first verse, if you may, I'm going to ask you to maybe even close your eyes and let these lyrics, these words, true statements, heal your anxiety. Hear these words. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and to provide. In every change, he faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend. Through thorny ways leads always to a joyful end. Wasn't that beautiful? Now, you may open your eyes and ask me a question. How can I be still in times such as this? There is a theological term which I became in love with it. It's called the immutability of God. It's one of God's attributes and it reveals to us that our God is unchanging. He's unchanging in His character, in His will, in His covenant promises. Friends, one thing we have realized, all of us, no matter where you live, which social category you are, one thing we've realized that everything can change in an instant. Not few things, not some things, but everything can change in one day, in one hour, in an instant. Our resources, our health, our reach, our relationships, a simple act of just going and buying what we need and always knowing that it will be there, it's gone. But I also pray that we will realize in circumstances such this, that our God remains the same. Our God never changes. The immutability of our God is one of the amazing attributes of God. To realize that He is always faithful, that He is always able, He is always victorious, He is available always to you. He is graceful, He is merciful, and He is always loving. Did you hear all that? unchanging, God always being available to you. The word immutable reminded me of another word, immutable. When you mute something, you are telling them to be silent. Well, this reminds us that God or nothing can make God go silent. It's not going to happen. God will always speak to you. God will always remind you that in Him, with Him, there's always hope. Nothing, no circumstances, my friends, can silence God's voice, the gospel that keeps telling us that in Christ we are more than victorious. He's immutable. Hebrew chapter 13 will give us these promises. Two of them are, one, I will, says Jesus, never leave you nor forsake you. This is how you and I can be still. Number two, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. This is why my soul can be still. And let me close with the same words the scripture uses as a benediction. Verses 20 and 21. Now, may the God of peace, who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do His will, working in you what will please in His sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Be still, my soul.